SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. This is Beauty Beats, where we show you the secrets to the makeup, hair, and beauty ideas you've been searching for. Hi guys, my name is Labisi. I'm the head makeup artist for Faces by Labisi. I'm here on Beauty Beats at the Indani Studios and I'm here to show you guys a few tips and tricks I use while applying makeup. Today I'm going to be showing you a mistake-proof method of achieving the perfect winged liner with these three easy steps. To create the perfect wing, you will need an angled brush and a gel liner. This method will also work well with liquid or pencil liners. Step 1. You are going to want to start by creating the wing first. To find the perfect angle, you are going to use your bottom lash line as a guide. Imagine that your lower lash line has a line connecting to the tail of your brow, but we are not going to go that far. Then, flip your brush the other way and connect the line right down to the center of your upper lash line, almost like a triangle. Then fill in all the empty spaces in the triangle. Take the product and follow your natural shape of your eye. You can make this as thick or as thin as you want. I like to make mine thinner towards the inner corner of my eye. Then go ahead and apply your mascara or false lashes as you will. Ombre simply means gradient, when a color is fading from light to dark. For this tutorial, you would need a lip pencil and two lipsticks. Step one, make sure you moisturize your lips before applying any lip product. Grab your lip pencil and bear in mind that this will be the darkest color you will be using. Start by lining your lips as evenly as possible. With the same lip pencil, fill in the inside of your lips very softly. Step two, Take the second darkest color and apply in the middle of your lips. Press your lips together lightly to blend and then you can go ahead and reapply if you need to. Step 3. Apply the lightest shade in the pout of your lip, which means the center point of your lips. Or better still, take an eyeshadow base and apply same in the pout of your lip. This saves you from having several lip colors. Hope this was helpful. Keep practicing. So I'm here to give you my five reasons why sometimes your makeup does not look so good. So number one is skincare. Makeup cannot cover everything. It simply cannot. The key or the solution to a breakout is not necessarily piling on more makeup. Rather, take time out to focus on your skin by using the right products and possibly giving your skin a breather, taking one day out of the week where you don't wear any makeup. Look for products that work for you. Know that your skin type, whether you know your oily combination, whether you're dry. Um, and then you don't need to cover up so much that you don't look cakey. Number two, makeup tools. Makeup tools are as important as the makeup itself. So when you have the right brushes that apply the right product, you will find out that you will get a more flawless application. When I talk about tools as well, I mean primers. So face primers, eye primers. These help the longevity of your makeup where you don't have to touch up so much and your makeup in this heat doesn't wipe off and it lasts longer. So number three, be careful with trends. Don't overdo it. Do what works for your facial structure. Banana powder is not for everybody. Contouring your nose should not be too straight line down your nose, it's meant to be a shadow. And besides, if you have a perfectly pointed straight nose, why do you need to contour? So number four, makeup is always a process. The most flawless application comes from building makeup. Never start with a heavy hand. For example, if you suffer from acne scarring, instead of using five pumps of foundation to cover your entire face, how about you use two pumps and then spot conceal with a concealer? And that makes it more natural and even. And finally, do what is important and try not to do it all at once. After all, makeup is meant to enhance, not mask. Hopefully I was helpful and you guys learned a tip or two. Follow us on Instagram at Faces by Labisi. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Onos. And if you did enjoy that video, which I know you did, you better subscribe to our channel and you can watch more videos too.